Um, I initially got into ceramics in high school. I moved from Maine to Homer and went to high school, the Homer High School there, and started taking a class just for fun and uh, soon became kind of an obsession where I planned my entire day around going to the studio and after that uh, started, decided I wanted to do it, pursue it in college. Took uh, some classes in college for fun and sort of accelerated from there. Um, initially I was attracted to it because it was sort of something different, something that other people weren't maybe doing. I knew a couple people like, oh, come on down to the studio. It's at the back of the school, like next to the auto shop, down this weird hallway, like come check it out, it's awesome. So hung out in the studio a little bit. I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. I don't know what these guys are doing, but this looks neat and kind of signed up for a class. And the what's interests me now is sort of the community and the um, everything that it brings together. It's it's sort of a multifaceted discipline, I guess. There's you know a lot of chemistry, the sort of engineering, there's the artistic side of it. You're designing and producing a product that requires a lot of different skills. And so I like combining sort of that complexity together from start to finish um, is what really attracts me to it. I had several successes. It's kind of like been a slow build, I guess. You know, um, I recently, got into the student jury show at Enseco, which is a national ceramics conference. So that's a show from with undergraduate work and graduate work from all over the country. I was accepted to the Advanced Student Project Network, which is a three-week residency at Red Lodge Clay Center in Red Lodge, Montana, where they select uh, five students from about 45 different schools in the nation. And you come and you work with, in their studio and then you visit Montana, all the clay culture around there talk to a whole bunch of artists, go visit their studios. Um, UAA is kind of like the hidden ceramics program. I was in Fairbanks for three years and came down here. I did no idea uh, the quality of a program that was here. It's kind of like a hidden gem, I guess. You know, the teachers we have here are nationally known artists. They're, they're incredible instructors. And so I kind of stumbled into it unknowingly. When I graduate here, so hopefully, fingers crossed, be graduating this spring with my BFA um, and then be doing a couple one to two years of residency somewhere in the lower 48 and then I'd like to go to grad school and once I'm done with grad school then open my own studio or a community studio as a practicing potter and so it's been an awesome facility really great instruction um, and kind of couldn't ask for a better situation to be in.